So hello and good morning family I'm Rakesh Yadav and I welcome you to my YouTube channel that is Rakesh Yadav ki baatein and this is about uh the series which is going on on my channel that is free placement assistance for uh, our brothers and sisters who have uh, submitted their CVs on uh, bigdatakb.com so this is uh, this is the this is one of the you know uh, profile that we are helping until he gets his dream job okay so this this is the day 2 for this profile like every day whatever discussions will be having either through uh, linkedin or through telegram uh, like in coming days will be you know making it just through telegram because it is very easy to copy and uh, paste the discussion from telegram app uh, to uh, bigdatakb.com's job help section okay so so this is the second day for this profile's uh, question we have given him a dummy name uh, a unique name like ds warrior 38 you know just to identify easily and if you want to you know if you are also going through the same uh, sorry for this typo error this is electrical so if you are also going through the same uh, situation what this brother is going on he is actually just to summarize he's a electrical branch pass out in 2015 has got around 4 to 5 years of experience uh, as electrical engineer and just 6 months back he quit his job and um, started learning data science from uh, this learnbay.in from bangalore and in next few weeks uh, his training is going to get over and he's very much worried about uh, his placements so yesterday was the first day of our discussion uh you know so what we had discussed yesterday you can see from here from day 1 okay till this video okay so like you know what is this people first of all i'll tell you you know this is like you know we are documenting every discussion so that if you or anyone in the coming future goes through the same situation like you're from electrical branch somehow get into the core industry but you did not like that and you want to get into it especially in data science field so what challenges uh, you could have what mistakes you should not repeat what uh, your senior did you know just to save some time you can just read this post okay there won't be multiple post for the same question okay uh, every day discussion will be updated here only you know you'll have to just scroll down for the day 1 2 3 and people i'll tell you i have got 16 years of great experience in training and placements i'm not being over confident this is about my passion this is about my love towards this you know a uh, field training and placements I'm, i'm i'm badly i mean badly involved into it you know this flows in my blood you know uh, training placements career guidance i call myself with all proud i call myself the king of training and placements and the sultan of career guidance i say it to myself you know because that 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 kind of love i have with uh, this passion of mine and having this much of experience and uh, the passion you know i can very well say that this brother of our is definitely going to be a data scientist if he continues to follow what we say here okay and you will see you will see one day we'll be sharing his success story on the same post okay if you also want to connect to him it is very easy you'll have to go to our browse cv page if you're a recruiter or a consultant you know you can easily download his cv or you're if you're a job seeker you're a junior you're you know doing electrical engineering uh, you're studying and you want to follow this senior then you can just come to browse cv page and click on this data science warrior id and his id is 38 data ds warrior 38 click on okay and with one single click search you can get to see everything about this brother of yours okay 
and uh, with one single click you can download his CV from here if you see and you know if you want to recruit him just call him up we are not involved we are not telling any recruiter or consultant to sign up with us okay we are not charging anything just help each other and make a different uh, you know get a different environment in this country and uh, he has not shared his LinkedIn profile that I'll be telling him to update uh, he has shared his github repository here you know so all these things you know the project he has made and all those things you know that can be accessed from this particular thing okay and uh, so now let's get back to the question that is uh, uh, we are helping this brother to, until he gets his placement this is the day two okay so what happened day on day one like uh, he has said that I am electrical branch pass out um, I have quit my job I'm worried about placement so I just asked him to you know share like I, I shared a video with him that what he needs to do you know basically I in that video I asked him certain questions because any career counselor or career guide would first ask a lot of questions to identify uh, on which particular area we need to help you okay and if there is something wrong happen then we can correct that okay so in this video basically I asked him a lot of questions and on day two he answered almost every questions here and I've just made certain things as bold you know so like he said I had asked him how many connections you have that is very important people you know uh, the deadly mistake that, that a job seeker does is you know your your connections are ir irrelevant like you know if if he's uh, willing to become a data scientist being from electrical branch then he must be having a lot of uh, profiles who are electrical branch pass outs and working as data scientist but he does not have and most of you do do not have uh, the, the relevant profiles as your connections that is the deadly mistake that you should not do okay because you know your connections will determine your how easy you reach to your destination you know you know they will keep you motivated they will be always available to answer your queries because they have already gone through that right so that he has agreed that he does not have relevant connections and he'll do that and then he says that he's so worried that he started searching for IT and KPU sector jobs so let me quickly answer on on the board on the all the bold sections my dear brother so please for God's sake if you if you have come to this family bigdatakb.com and if you trust in my hard work that at this 2 36 a.m. early in the morning I'm shooting this video to help you if you trust in me if you have little respect for me do not ever try to go for this IT KPO BPO sector job do not uh, disrespect yourself in this situation okay this is not the right situation to go for this IT KPO or BPO job okay you have invested your money okay and uh, you have learned a lot of things only few weeks are remaining and if you you know change your mind then everything will be lost and then it will be very difficult for you to come back okay so I will strictly tell you to you know like just skip this idea okay then uh, I had asked him like what all things he has learned so far so he has mentioned this Python R machine learning SQL tab SPSS uh, okay then like uh, he has also mentioned that I, I had asked him if you have done something uh, related to data science in previous profiles so he has mentioned that yes there are certain things that he has done in previous profile well so my answer on these things would be my dear friend uh, this Python and R you know I'll, I'll review review your CV also today in this video only so just skip this R okay skip this R you know do not let the interviewers unnecessarily ask a lot of questions you know because this is your beginner profile mention R only if it is required by the company okay straightforward straightforward just mention Python machine learning SQL not even this tab and SPSS okay see this tablet and power bi these are like you know tools as a data scientist you are more than a tool 
you okay there will be a de tableau developer there will be a power de bi developers what this training company say that as a data scientist you are expected to know these tools also no that is not true that is not true there are different profiles available for these tools as a data scientist you are expected to have a decision making skills you know you are expected to work on data you know uh, it's like a scientist kind of job people it's not like you know you, uh, there is a tool and you know, know that tool there are experts available for tableau there are experts available for available for power bi see i'm not totally against this that a data scientist should also know tableau and power bi what i'm saying is because we have less time we are going through a critical situation so we'll have to you know take our decision in such a way that we uh, we have less uh, struggles okay so uh, first prioritize yourself you know first learn things which are actually very important as a data scientist like python machine learning algorithms sql of course yeah learn these things which are very important for a data scientist then if you have time then go ahead with the basics of other things not depth i would still say that not depth just the basics of other things whatever is there and update your cv as per the requirement of the company don't just write everything and anything okay okay if company has not mentioned r and tableau and power bi straight away just remove them don't even think that what about a different profile who is going for the same interview and he has he has mentioned these uh, technologies do not think about this if company has not mentioned these technologies in their um, requirement do not bother to write them in your cv okay what company say that you know as a fresher they are just expecting whatever you have mentioned in your cv you should be able to speak on them and the second thing is the project because project is like the live in my environment and the final final requirement of any organization that uh, whatever learnings you had did you use how did you use your learning to make something useful productive for the organization you know so next thing is project so be very specific with your cv whatever you are mentioning okay we'll come to your cv part also so this yeah, okay next is uh, shall i also look for internships see this is not about uh, either i should look for internship or a job as of now as you have said you have got just 3 4 weeks now and the training will get over okay so i'll suggest you my dear brother this training period would not come again if you again again i'll tell you if you if you respect me and my work for you bigdatakb.com's work for you my dear brother follow me what i'm going to tell you now that will be a life changing decision for you if you if you honestly do that without getting confused and without wasting your time for these 3 4 weeks you do not have to think about anything whether you will get job or not whether you should apply as a fresher or an experienced uh, whether you should go back to your electrical industry you know whether you should start with kpr whatever it is going on in your mind just skip them skip them if something comes just ping me just ping me i'll straight away answer you and i'll just remove that thought from you but what i want from my brother is for at least these 3 4 weeks do not think about anything else than focusing giving your more than 100% in whatever you are expected to do in these 3 4 weeks as you have said that your almost four projects are remaining and that will be done in weekends okay just focus on these projects first thing that is left from your side is you do not have good connections related to electrical branch who are working as a data scientist that you have to do now only and the second thing what you need to do is just focus on whatever is remaining in your training company okay just just talk to them about placements we meet them you know as i told in previous video also for, for while i was answering to a different brother okay just stay there you know stay there in your training company for long hours okay let them feel that you are a job needy person for these 3 4 weeks feel like there is this 
you know what what was the name learn bay learn bay dot in is the number one training company for data science there is no other training company could help you at least for three four weeks until you're there with them just think like that stay there for long hours talk to the faculties trainer and uh, these um, these placement officers of your training company just tell them you know how badly you need this uh, in fact ask them if something goes wrong with me will you hire me as an assistant you know working with you for taking some classes or calling up the the uh, these students and converting them as a as a trainee you know just ask them the other possibilities you know okay but do not think anything else apart from this training company just be behind them my dear brother just be behind them and try to make your project as good as possible you know okay just think that if i am able to utilize these three four weeks nicely like a champion then the next you know after three four uh, weeks whatever days are coming that will be again i'll be living as a champion just focus on your present my dear brother we are there with you god almighty is there with you it's all about how good we make our present that decides our future okay trust me so uh, this is the thing i want you to do and this will be a life changing thing for you if you if you give your 100% focus on whatever you have you are expected to do now okay don't even think about internships job anything you know just uh, be behind them learn make your project very good okay stay there talk to their faculties let them feel how badly you need a job okay and uh, happily leave in uh, at home just study work on the projects and talk to the connections you know related to your branch next not good in any of the programming languages you have mentioned i have highlighted that that's okay my dear brother that's okay you know it is a past thing now you are you are learning python that's that's more than enough as a programming language the easiest programming language anyone can learn if you think that you are not able to learn python you are finding some difficulty that is not your fault my dear brother i'll tell you my story my 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 uh, my my friends used to call me a dummy you know uh, a brainless person my grasping power is very weak still it is weak but i used to just tell them f off being a yadav uh, you know i'm not just you know uh, being again overconfident it is the fact you know we have got like lot of heat in our blood and we don't bloody care anyone you know so my friends used to call me this and i used to i just used to tell them f off okay so what i used to do people because you know when i am respecting myself then i'll i'll be able to find out the solutions also so what i used to do whenever i did not used to get any concept in the class or wherever so i what i used to do i used to you know in fact abuse the faculties in fact i used to abuse the books and i used to go to the library i used to find out another books i used to go to internet i used to uh, you know follow another websites and i have always found the solutions you know i have always found the solutions so follow this suggestion my dear friend if you are not understanding anything that is not your fault you have done your part you try to learn something but you you are not able to learn that because you are not understanding whatever that book or that faculty or that trainer is trying to teach you that is the fault of that trainer that is the fault of that book change that book change that faculty change that trainer okay changing the training company is not possible so what you can do you, you can just go to uh, the free resources available on youtube and um, like udemy cheap uh, courses are available okay buy them but do not abuse yourself ever do not abuse yourself ever my dear brother you are very young to younger to me i am uh, at my 40s but i have not lost hope i have not lost hope my my home is like just one hall kitchen room you know people know me people respect me like anything my students are earning more than 10 times than me but i have not lost hope you know so you'll have to respect yourself you will have to respect yourself my dear brother okay your day will come okay so just don't bother about this programming languages python is more than enough as of now get into the industry when you will get into the industry you will get to know that okay fine these are the things that i can do and these are the things that is not at all possible for me and then 
things will be very easy for you when you are into the industry so until you are not able to get into the industry don't think much whatever you are given now just focus on them okay don't blame yourself for anything as a summary i shall start any job related to past experience no no for sure no do not think about your past experience now okay in fact i would suggest you when i am going to review your cv i will suggest you that you have to change uh, certain things in your resume so that you can make it more towards data science role okay next is resume preparation your training company has said that they will be having uh, this resume preparation in fact every training companies are now now adding these things the resume preparation mock interviews mock interview is good but resume preparation most of the training companies they also don't know what does it mean by resume preparation this is a kind of lollipop that every training company is having okay so while i review your cv you'll get to know what does it mean by a good resume preparation now this is what i had ans answered you about this training company i have never seen their advertisement that is a good sign of a good training company it seems that this uh, learn bay dot in is dependent upon the feedbacks you know and the reviews of their students not by the advertisements they show on various websites and youtube and all but that's a good sign man in fact you have also said that you are happy with the teaching quality that is it you know do not expect placement from any training company every training company would love to give you placement because that is their benefit you know they will be known for the placement it doesn't it's not like that you know like the training company is not willing to help you they want to help you it's just that maybe their network is not that strong or maybe the placement is not available the you know openings are not available think like that man think like you know that what sai baba has said shraddha and saburi patience you know patience and faith that works everywhere as i said in the beginning for these 3 4 weeks have patience and faith in learn bay dot in think like they are just made for you only think like that respect them talk to them politely like a brother you know uh, i saw their website detail from who is dot net and their website was registered like in 2013 so it's like 6 um, years uh till now okay so it's more than 5 years old company so it's not uh, like they're not here in the market for fun you know they are doing some serious business it's just that we need to be serious we need to understand that we need, we we have to get our work done you know the way see the way you are talking to me and uh, the way we are discussing this thing this is what you have to do with them also okay you did not know me right you just came to me asked your question and you did not expect that i would answer you in this way right but yes that was your faith that forced me to answer you right so that the same same thing you have to do with learn bay dot in also okay show them uh, that you are faithful about them show, show them that you respect them okay this respect and faith will do the wonders okay next right now as i asked you like you know before uh, uh, seeing the reviews and joining this training company did you talk to the people who have given the reviews this is not for you this is for the other uh, job seekers who are watching this video guys even the google reviews can be fake or paid reviews okay so don't just go by the reviews call up those people try to find out those names on linkedin okay try to contact them and then you know get to finalize whether you have to join the training company or not you have 20 to 25 days that's a good thing you said teaching quality is good that's a good thing 3 4 weekends very good uh, now you have said that you are applying to nokri.com and just recruiters are reviewing your cv and they are not contacting you well that's a common thing my dear brother if the if the recruiters are going to call you like that then you know how this nokri.com will earn money i'll tell you these recruiters call to whom who are heavily experienced you know who are heavily experienced and uh, by placing them they can earn money lakhs of rupees 70 80000 per profile 
okay so this is a normal thing think like that and just enjoy your life okay but do not forget to keep on updating your stuff keep on doing what you can do and that will do the wonders for you okay right now i'll suggest you i'll just review your cv and suggest you how you can influence the hrs with your cv some things i have already told you here that you know make your resume as per the company requirement don't don't just write everything okay now okay so this is the syllabus uh, you had uh, you know showed me All right let me just uh, open it in full screen and review it for you my dear brother so this is the masters in uh, ibm certified data science program from learn bay dot in for working professional 12 plus real time project and placement assistance my dear friends you know there is no word called real time project it's a, a fucking thing you know it's a bullshit crap uh, this is not about just learn bay dot in it is about every training company no one can give you the life projects or real life real time project it's all like everywhere available kaggle.com and all those there are few training companies you know who are seriously into this training business like uh, in sofe they have got their own uh you know this uh data scientist they have got their own data science based projects and uh, uh great lakes also but infos in sofa is the best for you know uh allowing you to actually work on live projects but their fees is very costly but again they have got this scholarship but you know in sofa is very good for the freshers and the people who have got money right if you don't have money how can you wait till you get the scholarship so again that is not suggested for the people struggling not having money and experience from non technical background i'm just saying that uh, this life training life real time projects and there are few training companies only who can uh, show the life training environment rest people they are just showing the project from kaggle but it doesn't mean that these projects will not give you uh, good hands on yes these projects are capable to give you good hands on but they are not real time projects okay now let us review the course content python for data science of course you should learn r programming no f off statistics for data science yes you should learn but do not keep you give your brain uh, stress that you're not understanding statistics see the statistics part is for the senior level profiles who are actually into decision making okay so just try to learn it uh, you can follow this khan academy if you are having any trouble okay then machine learning algorithms yeah should be, you should be very good at this part tensor flow and deep learning not for you my dear brother if you are looking for a fresher entry you should not bother yourself about this tensor flow and deep learning even i would suggest you not to mention this until until and unless it is asked by the train uh, the the company where you are applying okay this is not required for a fresher to show okay uh nlp again not required for a fresher to show show in his resume time series forecasting not very much required but yes if you are good at this you can mention it sql and mongodb sql is required mongodb is not required for a fresher but you should know the difference between sql and mongodb okay uh, mongodb is just like you know like sql is what uh, with sql you can manage small amount of data but with big data big data this mongodb and all those uh, uh, huge databases came up okay so just to manage the huge databases the other uh, database systems like mongodb came so you should know the use of mongodb difference not much don't go to go to def uh, depth of it okay as a fresher uh, cloud deployment of ml model yes you should know that tableau power by power bi f off as a data scientist you bloody do not need to you know waste time for these okay until uh, unless uh, it is required by the company and if in case you are very good at these things which i have told you as a data science uh, science, uh, science uh, fresher uh, python for data science if you are good at this machine learning algorithms if you are good at this sql if you are good at this you are extremely good at these three things four things then only you should invest your time for the other remaining things nothing is waste but it's just like you should know your preferences okay 
two capstone project in machine learning that's very good machine learning projects is actually very useful you know if people are giving a data science project it's a it's a fake thing data science is like science it's a domain you know but the actual thing is machine learning artificial intelligence nlp computer vision okay it's like our school days you know we say science domain so science is like physics chemistry maths so it's the combination of these three things you know Now, Hadoop and Spark analytics, no, of course not for a fresher. You should know the basics of it, but not the depth. Resume preparation, again a crap thing, not just by this training company, almost every training company is doing crap on resume preparations, uh, except upgrade, but again, that's a very costly course. Interview preparation, mock interviews, of course, it is good uh, by every training company because they have got their faculties, you know, uh, asking you the questions and their trained faculties. 12 plus real time projects. Even if it is not real time, you should give you more than 100% for these 12 projects, okay? So, uh, nothing more to be seen here. Uh, whatever I have just said, just keep that in mind. Bef by this uh, three four weeks you have to make sure that you are extremely good at python you are extremely good at machine learning algorithms you are extremely good at uh, the sql and the basics of this mongodb and the basics of hadoop and spark analytics okay that is it if you're uh, in this time series forecasting if you're very good at these a few things that I have just told you then only invest your time for the other things and for the other other things I'll tell you the preference uh, the other things the preference would be of course R first then uh, statistics then uh, this uh, W and Power BI Power BI you can skip because none of the training companies would insist you to know these two tools because they are like competitors even if you know one of these tools that will be very very enough as a data scientist you know so again not these two tools you can just have one if you have time then go for the two okay so this is about your course review my dear brother so by, by this review you can save your time in these three four weeks you know don't just try to include each and everything you know mentioned here in your upcoming projects if that is forced by your training company then that is a secondary thing just do whatever they are saying but at least in your resume mention only those things which are required by the company okay now let us review your cv And if you have time, my dear brother, just update, update your CV because uh, I think you have not mentioned your LinkedIn profile and you know certain more things that I don't see here, which is there in your uh, CV. So to update, what you need to do is just go to submit CV page again and fill up these details again. You can just do copy paste from here. You know we are not taking signups and registrations. Otherwise, you could have just edited these things. You know so yes let us download your cv see how is it easy it is you know to uh, uh, follow and download cvs of your you know, fellow job seekers and have the corrections you know just uh, follow the good cvs and you know, do the corrections in your cv make your cv best you know so all right this is your cv my dear brother let us review it First of all, whatever summary you have written, I am very much happy about that. It's just that you should know whatever you have written. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, again, this R, Scala, and C. As a fresher, 
willing to get a fresher entry you, you do not do not need this scala and c my dear brother you're from core branch electrical branch you do not need to know c okay just remove c and scala for sure even if it is asked by the training company you can just remove that it is not required for you to know okay you know python very well perfect come on i respect you i want you to be perfect at least one thing okay r only mention if it is asked by the training company okay now this expertise is very good you have mentioned data cleaning uh, decision okay just a moment the phone is getting hung just a moment ah let's see hmm see uh this expertise thing uh, experience thing my dear brother Yes, summary is okay. Experience operation strategist from 16 till 19, Garima Consultancy and Services. Mm. See, these tools, you know, these tools which you have mentioned in the, like using different analytics uh, tools such as SPSS R studio if you actually know these tools then only mention otherwise just remove them my dear brother just remove them not required you know uh, what does it mean if you say no I know the basics of that doesn't help you right rather if you have just mentioned Python uh, in fact uh, that will give you confidence because you have allowed them to ask less questions to you okay and that will also save your time because you'll be preparing more on focused uh, things which are more important you know and this conducting internal and external business environment analysis by using different frameworks such as again if you actually if you have actually worked on this then only mention otherwise just remove them mother brother a lot of things are there which are actually not required uh, from a fresher you know and then this industry tower that is your actual experience as a as a this thing a core branch person phone got hung let's see if god helps yeah god is gracious industry tower so you have mentioned manage uh, infra up time as per msa that is good manage the team that is also good that is leadership quality you have got five years experience you should show your leadership qualities that is expected and you must show your leadership qualities and uh, manage the site stability very good your core branch experience is very good now this expertise thing my dear brother just remove things which are actually you have not done and you, you do not have the expertise when we are entering into the fresher role now we should just avoid these terms like yeah, expertise and all you know we are fresher right we are not expected to have expertise right so rather remove this whole section and you have already mentioned some of these things above you know as a summary that will do but don't show something as expertise you know rather uh, in summary just mention the things which are asked by the company okay qualification that's it that's it qualification is good see now what is missing is your project okay so now i'll tell you very good thing here so this is one page resume that is the wonderful thing your resume should be of one page only the format is also very nice okay it's just that i am opening it now on mobile you should check it opening on a desktop on a laptop whether it opens properly or not i tried to open it on laptop and this this left hand side section was overlapping on the right right hand side section that should not happen check it why it is happening if you are not able to you know edit it or not able to change the format then just go to the browse cv page of bigdatakb.com and download your friends cv formats and just change the data and make your own cv don't just go to google and start wasting your time for the cv format okay now 
about the ex uh, this project how to include your project because if you are willing to include your project then uh, your CV pages will definitely increase right so how to manage the situation the best strategy is just keep these things on one page like qualification summary uh, your uh, recent experiences recent you know recent one or two experiences and just mention one line that for more experience ex experiences check the annexure annexure one to whatever page number it is I'll tell you how you have to mention annexure and all those okay and then project also just mention the project title on the first page and then at the bottom right corner mention PTO and bracket uh, annexure and like uh, just uh, below the qualification section if you have space uh, mention project and then the titles of the project and mention to see the details of these projects check the annexures annexures means the extra pages added to this one page CV for the more detail like annexure 1 has got my project 1 detail annexure 2 has got my project 2 detail annexure 3 has got my project 3 detail come on one page CV and multiple pages of project description show them off show them off your talent that doesn't matter but if you are just making your CV of multiple pages you know uh, and uh, just uh, spread the information on multiple pages that will not be a good idea what you have done now is you have summarized everything on front page and you're showing the details in separate pages okay so that way you can just add your projects in bigger detail in, in a much detail rather making a table and showing the small uh, briefings of a project rather show them mention your project in big detail what detail like this is the project I made and this is the benefit of this project and these are the future advancements that I'm planning to uh, add in this project and apart from these all things the most important part is how this project can be linked to the current company I am applying make it a bold thing at least the title of this particular section should be bold that how your project is related to the current company you are appearing for okay so that is for your CV my dear brother we are done so for the second day what is the summary first for these three four weeks you do not have to think anything else apart from uh, this learn bay dot in okay and your questions should also be coming uh, like uh, what happened uh, about your recent discussion with learn bay dot in related to placements what they are saying if you want me to talk to them you can share some of their uh, placement of some uh, like placement officer or trainers number I will also talk to them like how they can help you so our discussion should be totally focused towards your preparation your your learning at learn bay dot in and the difficulties you are facing and you have to update me like how many connections you have got and what these connections are saying okay so that I can help you on those uh, comments like maybe an electrical branch pass out data scientists say that no man it is difficult go back to your old branch industries okay so don't get afraid of these comments just come back I want your questions to be specific related to these what I'm saying uh, related to the preparation and the projects that you're going to make in learn bay dot in in next few weeks and related to your connections building uh, uh, for this uh, electrical branch pass outs who are working as a data scientist and also ask them like they are five six years old car training company ask them for the alumni data who are from core branches maybe electrical civil mechanical any branch but it should be core branch and they are now working as a data scientist ask them and let me know what they say okay? and the next thing is uh, just uh, uh, try to you know update your CV you know just check the data science uh, jobs as I told you in first day video that you should know how to use bigdatakb.com for core branches for for the industries related to your branch and check what they are asking you know in the job detail when you click on more detail just check what they are asking like the, what technology they are asking what the job description they are mentioning just check these things and let me know uh, what they are asking what you have known so far what is the difference what is the gap you know so that we can discuss accordingly right so my dear brother I hope I was able to answer your query you know and uh, like uh, uh, we are focused now we are on same page now 
there should not be any time waste and indiscipline this training period would not come again my dear brother okay do not ever think about going back in the worst case in the worst case if something goes wrong go to edureka simply learn become their sales associate and sell these data science courses or in fact join this learn bay dot in as a uh, assistant trainer kind of or become a part time freelance trainer with this edureka from home you know but do not think about going kpo bpo and this you know your core branch industries you know uh, you you'll have part time money as a trainer and then you can continue your data science job but i am not saying that you should think about part time and all this stuff i'm just saying that there are other options in, and you do not no, do not need to bother about going back okay that is a waste of time and uh, a bad decision okay focus give your best shot for the things remaining at learnbay.in okay ask them like why are you not able to place me tell me what weaknesses i have i'll work on those weaknesses and you have to place me okay and uh, i will also if you uh, if you give me some numbers i will also talk to them that if my 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 student is placed from you i will write a great review about learnbay.in on my big data kb.com website i'll try to spread your good work among my students database you know i'll also try to talk to them so that you know they can help you in a better way right my dear brother yeah i think this is more than enough for this second day uh, from tomorrow onwards i just want to hear from you that uh, what is your next strategy to make your project good and uh, what ha- what happened with your connection building what happened with your job search on bigdatakb.com and what happened with your uh, placements placement related talk with lawn bay dotting okay we have to be focused on these few questions and until you're done with these uh, three four weeks at lawn bay dotting okay all right thank you so much my dear brother remember god and bigdatakb.com are there with you until you're placed you are definitely going to get placed this is not the first case my dear brother from 16 years i have been doing the same thing you know i have seen people my 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 buddies my 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 students they are flourishing like anything you know i have seen they are calling me frustrated i am again guiding them do not lose hope keep fighting keep fighting and they are like uh, living better life than me okay so you're not the first case trust me you'll definitely have what you desire for just be patient have faith you know just in in case of any depression or you know, just talk to your good buddies like your parents you know talk to your god you know sit fold with folded hands surrender yourself to god ask for mercy you know that works like a big medicine my dear brother thanks so much okay for your time god bless bye bye